Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Mr. Frunk from Mr. Frunk Gaming here, and I have a request from a subscriber. Uh, his name is uh, Dual Link Salvation, if I'm uh, if I'm correct, and he wants me to show him some basic combos, some test hands, uh, just how to build a board with two Dracos in this kind of format, in the April 2019 format, I should say. So uh, without further ado, I guess uh, let me go ahead and show you just some test hands and what you could do with you know these uh, you know these test hands after you get them I don't want to do just like a combo because there's really no one set combo for two dragos it's not a combo deck but uh, it is um, you know pretty consistent so let me go ahead and give it a good shuffle I'm just gonna shuffle it up bear with me I'm just trying to get it nice and shuffled I did have them in order for the deck list and I haven't really messed with them since. So I'm actually gonna do the whole one, two, three, four, hold on. I just wanna get a good consistent shuffle before I begin. Thank you again for checking out the channel, uh, Dual Link Salvation, and I'm hoping this video gives you a better insight on how to play uh, True Dracos in today's format. Uh, it is probably the deck I'll be running tomorrow at the sneak peek for Dark Neo Storm at my locals here. Um, so big shout out to Goose's Games, and I'm really looking forward to going and playing that tomorrow. Uh, hopefully get some good things out of the sneak peek packs, of course. My buddy Ben's also going to be uh, piloting some Chew Draco, so that ought to be pretty fun as well. So that's a pretty shuffled deck. I'll go ahead and put it down. Uh, you know, opponent would normally cut it, so I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And then obviously just put it off to the side. And then here, you're going to draw your five starting cards. This is going first. So one, two, whew, three, four, five. Well... This is why I wanted a good consistent uh, shuffle. This is what you have. And really, the only thing you really do with this hand uh, is probably, you know, obviously, you know, set. I mean, pretty much just try to get everything out of your hand and activate card of demise, which let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and play, play, uh, set, and go ahead and activate the, you know, the last card of demise, draw three, and I mean, heck, I mean, you ain't really got much to work with here. Uh, I don't think I might have shuffled just 100%. Uh, I would use Pot of Duality. Uh, pot of Duality allows you to excavate. Now, here we go. This is what I was looking for, guys. Uh, this is what you need to see. Uh, you're definitely going to grab your Ignis because you want to start with the monster if possible, and you want to shuffle these back into the deck. Now, just to point out, that was a pretty, pretty bad opening hand. If I ever opened that hand in an actual tournament, like I, I would probably be pretty sad at that point. Okay, so now you have a hand that looks like such. Uh, you put that away into the graveyard and put the graveyard up here just so y'all can see it. Uh, now you have a, uh, just remember you have a set, there can only be one. And then uh, another set card of demise to use on your next turn, uh, just to get it out of your hand. So now you got two disciples. Uh, what you do now is you would obviously uh, tribute one of your disciples for Ignis. So now you'd have an Ignis on board. Um, and at this point, I would probably go ahead and set the the Monarch Storm. I mean, not the Monarch Storm for it. The Monarchs erupt. And then. You know, pretty much I would probably keep this in hand just because you already have one down. So you really don't want to put all your resources down just in case they all get blown up because this is the card that actually helps you recycle from the grave. So at this point, you would pass turn. Your opponent would go to play. Uh, as soon as they would activate effect, uh, you would chain. Just monarchs erupt. It's the only tribute some of the monsters can activate. You could also chain uh, your Ignis to search your spell or trap. Uh, so I would actually probably grab True Draco Heritage since it's the one I don't have. And then if they start summoning a lot of different types, 
I mean, if they summon a lot of the same type, I mean, my bad. It's like, so if you're playing against Salamangrates and they're trying to do like the whole uh, Cybers thing, so you just flip, there can only be one, and you only control one, so they would have to get rid of most of their monsters if they've summoned like, you know, two or three more monsters. So, I mean, it, this is, like I said, I mean, it, it wasn't the best starting hand, but I think after we did all those draw powers, I think we actually got pretty uh, back on track. We had to go through a few... Uh, resources I didn't really want to go through so early, but um, it was okay. Carter Demise going first is probably the best thing you want to see just because you're not doing damage to your opponent anyways. So, you know, better see it first than rather three turns down the line when you're about to do damage and you need something and so you use Carter Demise and then you realize you can't actually do any damage to your opponent. It can come, it can actually hurt real bad. Sorry about that. Shuffling really close to the camera here. So we actually shuffled again. Um, go ahead and cut it and see what we get this time. Now I'm not going to do many of these. Probably three test hands, maybe four test hands, just to show you the basic uh, run around. So now we have a perfect draconic diagram, disciples, infinite and permanents. Nice. Majesty, nice, a monster, and then skill drain. Perfect. I mean, now this hand is way better than the previous hand that we had before. This hand, we have a lot of stuff, especially if we're going first or going second, because going second, you can use this from your hand because you control it and you, you don't control anything yet. So right now you're in a good spot. So going first, you would obviously, um, see here, you would set. You know your infinite permanence anywhere. You would set your skill drain, uh, and then you would probably always want to try to get a monster on board before activating anything. So, pretty much, you have a choice. You can either do, you can either try to tribute into Majesty Maiden by you know getting rid of that, and then activating the diagram. But then you don't really have anything to pop with diagram because skill drain is nice to have uh, next turn so you can pop it and then you won't be able to use your effects. But it's also a great extender if you needed to get like the True Draco Heritage because he sent one. Or you can even, you know, if you feel lucky, just pop your maiden with diagram and then you can get True Draco Heritage and then draw two cards. So... You know, just for the show of the video, let's go ahead and do that. So I use that, the Tribute Majesty Maiden. And then I'm going to use Diagram. Oops, sorry. Put Diagram too far out of frame. Diagram. I'm going to pop in Majesty Maiden. All right. To search the True Draco Heritage right here. Add it to my hand. And this is obviously uninterrupted. Uh, your opponent might have uh, Ash Blossom, Ghost Ogre. It don't matter what it could be. It could be anything. So now uh, you'd use your True Draco Heritage. You sent two. So now you would draw two. And at this point, going first, you got a pretty good opening hand. Um, so let's just put everything where it needs to go. Uh, at this point, you would probably want to... I'd probably set the disciples just because you know if your opponent thinks it's something like a trap they pop it it pops one of their traps if they have one so it, it's nice and then i would actually activate card of demise and draw three cards one two and three another terraforming which is really good because you can actually use uh diagrams effect uh multiple times in a turn so if you can get into uh terraforming and get another diagram you can actually go in and pop it again and just do the same combo over and over so now uh what i would do is because you kind of need a monster at this point is i would use terraforming and i would search out the other diagram and sorry about the lighting it's kind of one of my lights is kind of messing up on me right now, so I'm just trying to make it do. And I changed to this darker play mat so it has zones, and I can try to teach you using the accurate zones if I could, because I feel like that's a really important learning. So you'd pretty much just get rid of one diagram for the other, and then this is still your hand, pot of duality, and you know, infinite permanence. And then you would actually, uh, wait, uh, you would use diagram to pop True Draco Heritage. And then uh, you can search a monster. 
I'd probably search uh, Dynamite. Dynamite's the one of it does the traps. And since we actually don't have any True Draco traps in our disposal yet, it'd actually be really good to get one if your opponent activ activates a card or effect. So, all right, that's shuffled. So now, uh, before you would tribute summon him, you'd activate Disciples effect to actually get that extra tribute summon. And now that you actually do have one, two, and three, two Draco cards in the graveyard, you can actually take these and recycle them back into the deck and then draw. I mean, you see where this deck is going. It's so much draw power and um, it just it's really hard to kind of do a combo tutorial without actually having another opponent. I would really love to do some live duels or maybe even some YGO uh, pro, uh, you know, screen shares. Because I would really, I feel like that would be the best way to actually showcase what this deck is capable of. That's your hand, and then draw. You know, you now you got a solemn strike. So now you would actually uh, tribute over the disciples to special summon. I mean, not special to tribute summon the dynamite. And then, I mean, you have so much to do now. You got the impermanence. So I'd set it, and you have the solemn strike. We'll go ahead and set that. So now you have a few things uh, set. Go ahead and activate Pot of Duality. You know, look at the top three cards of your deck. I mean, look at all this stuff, guys. I mean, you have another diagram. You can go in there and pop something else and continue on. But I think at this point, uh, you're pretty set going, uh, you know, for your opponent to go ahead and go. And then you have two impermanent set. So that's two negations uh, for their monster effects. And since they're set, it'll actually negate everything in the column as well. So that's really, really nice, really important. But I'm going to do one more test hand just to kind of show you the, the ropes of True Draco. And um, I'm hoping you guys are, I mean, I'm hoping you are really understanding this. This video is really just made for that uh, Dual Link Salvation. He's the one who requested it. I'm not trying to be like very... Um, um, I'm being very beginner, I guess, educational, because I know he said he was starting out trying to learn True Dracos. Uh, I'm not trying to do any sort of massive, uh, you know, advanced stuff. I mean, there, you just have to play the game, and then after you get certain matchups, you'll start knowing that um, what to do in certain matchups. I'm just telling you what to do starting out, and then uh, everything else we kind of just learn from there. But let me go ahead and shuffle one time. And then put the deck down and draw. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, um, so not the best hand. I feel like it's a, quite a bit of traps. Uh, you do have Stormy Mirror Force, so it's the good. If they attack you, you can hit them. Uh, you have Skill Drain, of course. Uh, Monarchs Corrupt. Uh, True Draco Apocalypse. And then Poly Duality. Activate Duality. Okay, so now you have, ooh, you have a lot of options. Very spicy. Um, this is actually kind of a hard decision because you, you can go ahead and get a monster. You can go ahead and get Diagram and pop something. Since you have Monarchs Erupt, you can actually pop Skill Drain and still grab a monster and, you know, continue on. Um, but honestly, like... You're pretty set, uh, just for the sake of it, just for a beginner pay, play, I mean. Uh, you know, grab Dynamite, shuffle these back into the deck, of course. And just shuffle it nice. All right, nice and shuffled. And then honestly, this is an engrave. And then you would just take um, whatever card you would want to, to tribute any uh, continuous spell or trap. Uh, in this case, the uh, skill drain and then boom you have a dynamite which uh, you can activate his effects to add another trap card or activate it or add it to your hand and at this point you would you know, pass turn and then your opponent would go and then if they try to attack you do have the stormy mirror force down uh, you also have the monarchs erupt to flip if they try to activate an effect and then you also have a uh, true Draco apocalypse which um, is really nice uh, it would be even better if you had another monster in hand because then you could tribute summon uh, during your opponent's main phase 
and uh, really take advantage of, uh, you know, them summoning monsters because you just tribute them for your monsters. We'll actually tribute this card off and this pops a monster when it leaves the field. That's what kind of, that's the main thing. But I guess, I mean, that's a pretty, you want to go first playing True Dracos. I mean, that's just pretty standard. There is going second variants that would use more like the evenly matched or the Monarch Stormforth to really just break a board. It's like, you can side those in if you know you're going second. But most of the time, you're really trying to just go first. So if you can just build a board with some floodgates, some negates, um, just have have it set up so you can activate your effects and your opponent cannot. I mean, that's the main thing you're really going for. But anyways, uh, this was a basic uh, test hands and what I can do with those test hands type of combos. Because, you know, the combos that show you exactly the cards you need to start with, I feel like I never see the exact cards I need to see to actually start that combo. Those two card combos, those three card combos, even those single card combos sometimes, I don't see those in my opening hand. And it's really hard to um, teach somebody using them and then them never get to see it in an actual, you know, tournament style duel. And then they don't, then they don't know what to do. So I like to show the test hands and the combos or the just the plays or the boards you can build just by using those test hands. Anyways, if you liked the video, uh, make sure you comment down below. Uh, tell me what I need to improve on. Tell me uh, if you have any other better combos uh, for True Dracos. I know there's some out there. Like I said, this is a very beginner video. But anyways, if you liked it, uh, just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.